Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. Of course, they could have shot them the second they took the photo, but I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a Mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think? What's going to happen to eight and ten? Okay, so another one that broke their bathroom mirror. Let's go ahead and uh, deny that. All right, so she drank way too much. Let's go ahead and uh, say yes, but come back tomorrow. And let's go ahead and start the day. All right, so let's try to recruit him as an informant. Let's see. Okay, start to investigate. And we'll add our two best guys. Okay, so we just got a call on attempted murder. 
let's go and um, start that. All right, let's send two officers down there. Okay, we got a carjacking. Um, let's see, parking lot attendant. All right, we'll send three police officers. Okay, let's request a raise. Let's see, can we hire anyone? All right, we can. So let's go ahead and hire for shift B and that's all we can do. Okay. Okay, so we found the thief. Let's try to overtake the offender and block the road. Awesome, we caught him. No one was harmed. A hostage situation, let's take care of that. Um, actually, let's go ahead and send four officers. So we'll do uh, Robbins, Austin, Roy and Price. Let's check out this report. Awesome, we caught him as well. Okay, a theft. I guess we're helping the mob now, so let's send him out. Oh, that was a false alarm. Man, we should have still arrested him. Let's send those two officers out for a stolen wallet. Okay, so an assault with a deadly weapon, let's check that out. Okay, let's send uh, four officers down there. Let's check out this theft report. Awesome, we're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and shoot at the criminal's tires. Awesome. No one was harmed.
Okay, let's try putting this together here. And we solved it. Awesome. Let's send these two officers. All right, so we got what one extra shot here. Well, what Okay, so we solved that crime. Let's go ahead and end the day.